Hey you guys, what is up? How's it going? Logical Gaming here. Man, it's been a long time since I have said that. Feels good. Um, good to be back, you guys. Been a long time since I've made a video. This has been my biggest break between videos since I started this channel. And what's super awesome is that the channel's still grown in subscribers. Views have gone down, of course. But you guys are still here. You stuck around. You believed in me. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for that. And it's cool to see you guys helping each other out um, when I'm not here to help you guys. But this video, as you have read from the title, unless somehow you clicked on this video without reading the title just because you knew it was from me and that it would be awesome, uh, which I know none of you did, this is about the simplest, most basicalist inventory system possible. And this is just like very basics of inventory. So let's get into it. The first thing is you need to decide what objects you want to go into your player's inventory. Right now I have a rock and a bush just because they were already here and I didn't want to have to search for something because I'm that lazy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And we just got disconnected. I don't know how. I'm definitely connected to the internet. All right. Man, things are getting crazy in this video. So we have our objects that we want to be inventoryable. That's my made up word for that we want to be put in our inventory. And this could be a sword or a bow and arrow, whatever you want. And what we'll do, in, in that object's brain, whatever objects you have, they just need one line of code. So when it bumps the player, the player will pick up me. This is the important tile, and this is pick up. So that means it goes into the player's inventory. It is in his inventory. Um, we need to give this guy controls for how to walk. Gotta learn how to walk before you can learn how to inventory. Isn't that how the saying goes? So, if we move over these objects, we'll bump them, and they will go into this guy's inventory. But they just vanish. It, we don't, we can't do anything with them. They are in his inventory, but it doesn't matter. So now we need to make a way to select the objects that are in his inventory. And how we can do that is we need a number variable. First of all, and this is going to be called the selected item. So, I always put it on the win side instead of the do side. All right. So when we press whatever control you want, I'll just use one, this variable will go down by one, and then when we press a different number, it'll go up by one. And I know this won't make a lot of sense at first, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Just stick with me. All right. Then also what we need to do is we need to clamp this variable into a specific range. Um, so that way it can't go too high or too low, like into the negatives or into the millions. Also, we need to put pressed. That's important. So that way it doesn't go up really quickly. Because, like, right now, if you just press 1, it'll go up, like, 6 instead of just by 1. So, that looks solid so far. No mistakes yet, I believe. Now, we need to do the clamp. So we need the selected item. And we are going to clamp it right here it is not there oh it equals you have to put equals first so it equals clamp what this is it clamps a variable to keep it within the set range of two values if you can read that so it, I really like I already explained it can't be underneath whatever we want or over whatever we want so the very lowest it could possibly be we're gonna put to zero because we can't have negative objects in our inventory and then the maximum number and this is important as well. We're going to go into the inventory. And all the inventory is, is an object set. Just like when you go to values and you make your own object set. Um, it's, so it just keeps track of objects that are in the player's inventory. Is just the name of the object set. So the inventory, we're going to use a tile called count. And count, it just counts each of the objects that are in the object set, like how many are in it. So if we don't have anything in our inventory, it'll be zero. If we have 100 things, it'll be 100. So it'll change depending on how many objects we have. And then you just put the number variable at the end. So there's that line of code that stops this selected item variable from going too high or too low. I'm restating this a lot. So you guys can understand. Sorry if it's too slow. Next, the next step is the most important and the thing I didn't know how to do um, until I finally figured it out recently. And that is how you can how you can select objects in your inventory. So what you do is you need to use uh, for each of. 
for each object in the inventory, I'll just search it because it's faster. So for each object in the inventory, what this does is it goes through each individual thing in the inventory and runs a line of code for it. So for each object in the inventory, when our number value, when our select, oh, whoops, wrong one, when our selected item equals, this is, it's called current index. It's under timing and logic, current in index. So when that equals the current index, which you can see the arrow pointed to just one uh, apple in the jar. So it's whatever one it's currently uh, running through in the inventory. So once that number equals um, that object in the inventory, we will we can do uh, we can do whatever we want with it. So we'll display it first of all, so you know what you have selected. So we will display it. on the top left of the screen. This looks legit, it looks good. Um, so let's let's try this this thus far. So we picked up our rock in our bush. If I use my uh, number two, there's the rock is selected, bush selected, rock, bush, we can switch between the two. Um, if I go to zero, it, it, it doesn't select anything. And right now I'm pressing two as many kind of times as I can. You can hear it, ready? There's my key pressing. Um, hopefully that wasn't too loud, um, and it won't go any higher because the but because the that's the maximum value because it's clamped. Now I'm very glad that all worked. <laughs> all right, so we're that far. Now we can do whatever we want with the whatever object we've selected. We could shoot it. We could um, throw it up in the air. We could make it grow. I don't know whatever you want. So we're just gonna equip it though, because that's probably what most of you guys are gonna want to do. So we're going to equip it. So equipped. And we, so when we press Z, I'll just do Z. When we press Z, we will equip it. Whatever is selected. All right. Here's the moment of truth. So we got the rock of the bush. Go over to the rock, press Z. All right, I know why I did this. I didn't. I forgot the important thing of putting pressed. Dang it! It was it was all perfect. Everything was perfect until there. My first mistake. All right. So we pick those two up. Go to the rock. Press Z. All right. So the reason why it didn't work correctly is because I forgot to indent this line right here. So it was trying to equip every single item in the inventory at the same time. So you need to indent that so it's only the selected item. Rookie mistake, my bad. So, now, hopefully this works perfectly. That should be the last hiccup. Okay, so we cycle through our objects, we got the bush. Bam, press Z, equips the bush. Automatically goes to the next item um, down the list. And see, now we can not We can only go to zero or to one. We can't go past that. It switches the maximum number um, to, to just one. So now if we press Z on the rock, it'll equip that and drop the bush. You could set it um, so it will... When you press Z, it'll unequip whatever item and put it directly into the inventory and then equip to the selected item. Um, that's not too difficult. But yes, this is the simplest inventory system I think is possible. Um, that's all there is to it. It's pretty short. It almost fits without even scrolling. They did update the scrolling bar. That's pretty nice. You guys know that. Um, so yeah, here it is one last time. You gotta have your number variable. Make sure it's clamped, and then use the for each of tile and the current index. And then you can have whatever command you want at the bottom. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed making it. I should be making some more videos soon. I know I say that every time, but I'm doing the best I can. And you guys make this so much fun. Honestly, this is like the coolest thing ever to do, is make YouTube videos. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope I helped. If I didn't, comment down below, and I might make a follow-up video with uh, more complex stuff based on your guys' comments. So you have to be sure to comment, or else I won't have any inspiration. So thank you again for watching, and I will see you later.